The FRAM program is one of the most ambitious and innovative European naval defence projects to date. It involves the construction of 18 ships, 8 for France and 10 for Italy. First launched in 2002 and assigned to the Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation in 2005, the FREM program will build anti-submarine warfare, anti-air warfare and general-purpose frigate variants. Looking at some financial stats, Shepard Defence Insight reports for Italy an official program value of $6.5 billion with a price tag of $649 million per unit. Built by Fincantieri, the first ship in class was commissioned into service in May 2013, with a total of eight now in service. In January 2020, the Italian Navy launched the 10th and final friend vessel, Emilio Bianchi. As for France, it awarded the contract to Naval Group in 2005. The reported programme value to date is of $12.6 billion, with a manufacturing unit cost of $890 million. The class is due to be complete with the delivery of the final frigate in 2022. The designation of multi-mission, multi-role frigates, which might be seen as a contradiction by some given the design of these ships, is driven by the need of the French and Italian navies to operate in an increasingly congested and competitive maritime domain. This development is due to global megatrends, including the rise of new powers such as China in the Pacific, growing competition over resources, and new sea lines of communication in the North Atlantic and Arctic regions, as well as climate change, disruptive technologies and urbanization. The Italian and French navies are an example of service planners adapting to the changing environment and are due to set new standards for design and build costs. For France, Naval Group has been building the FREM class since November 2012. The first anti-submarine and anti-air warfare variant, Alsace, was laid down in 2016 and launched in April 2019. Strongly armed, Alsace uses weapon systems such as the Thales Aerocles radar, the Aster 15 and 30 missile series and Exocet MM-40 missiles. Its design specifications include an overall length of 142 meters, a 20 meters long beam, a 6,000 tons displacement, a maximum speed of 27 knots, and a range of 6,000 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots. Alsace is expected to enter service in 2021, followed by the final ship, Lorraine, which, as Naval Group reports, will be delivered in the second half of 2022. Beyond the Alps, the Bergamini-class frigate for the Italian Navy are replacing the aging Lupo and Maestrale-class frigates and are built in two variants anti-submarine warfare and general purpose. Class design specifications include a 144.6 meters length, a 19.7 meters beam, 
a 6,700 tons displacement full load, a top speed of 30 knots, and a range of 6,800 nautical miles. 10 frigates have already been ordered by Italy, with 8 already in service. The final two were due to enter service by 2021, but as Italy has not lost any time in securing sales and deliveries to neighbouring countries, approving a sale for two frigates to Egypt in July 2020, Shepard Defence Insight now estimates the last deliveries to the Italian Navy to be completed in 2024. In more recent news, amid escalating political tensions in Italy linked to alleged human rights violations, the first of the two ships, the Spartago Shergat, now named Al Galala, reached the Egyptian Navy base of Alexandria on the 30th of December. The Bergamini class showcases a wide array of weapon systems, ranging from Aster 15 and 30 missile series to CIWS and rocket launchers. A variant of the Italian frame design has also been selected by the US Navy for its next generation frigate program.